Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to another broadcast of WATI News Center 10 Live at 5. Tonight's program is brought to you by the Department of Communications and Theater Arts from inside the Muni Communication Center at Heidelberg University. News Center 10 Live at 5 is your number one campus source for bringing you the latest news around the state, around Tiffin, and around the Berg. Be sure to stay tuned in as well tonight for our social segment as we check out the pulse of Berg students and find out what they're talking about on the hottest topics. Coming up, members of the Ohio Student Association are planning the protest. And also, learn how to keep up on your studies. So we'll also catch up on social media trends. And check out the latest news in Heidelberg sports. Don't touch that remote. News Center 10, Live at 5, starts now. Good evening, Tiffin, and welcome to WATI News Center 10 Live at 5 for Tuesday, October 14th, 2014. I'm Stacy Hartley. And I'm Dan Klish. Let's get to our first story of the night. Due largely in part to the August shooting of John Crawford III, a population of members of the Ohio Student Association are planning to protest on the 18th of this month. Crawford was shot and killed in a Walmart in Beaver Creek when police responded to a call that Crawford had an air rifle in the store. According to Columbus's NBC4, the officer shot when Crawford refused to put the gun down and the decision was later accepted by a grand jury. Despite the court's proceedings, the OSA will hold the protest on October 18th at 12 o'clock p.m. on the north side of the Capitol building. After discovering the news that the Veterans Affairs Hospitals in Ohio were falsifying records to cover up malpractice suits and paying administrators bonuses that were supposed to go to the veterans and their care. President Barack Obama signed off on a reform that limited said bonuses to $360 million. The Associated Press reported that to answer the backlash that appeared after the routing of the money has been discovered, the U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown claimed that the balance limits are necessary in getting the best care for the veterans and top-notch health care professionals and receive their payments that, that for their services. Over, over $760,000 in cash was seized by the police in Cuyahoga Falls with the help of a suspect's girlfriend. In court records, police claimed that the copious amounts of money was in sight, or on a site of an underground marijuana and prescription pain pill distributing location. The, def the defense claims that the client, suspect Scott Fogel, was simply hoarding the cash. Fogel is on a $10,000 bond and charged with low-level marijuana trafficking and awaiting judgment by a grand jury later this month. Legacy of West Akron Daycare Center, or Candy Cane Christian Daycare Center, will live on in the hearts of alumni and staff. After the passing of founder and director Mammy Gardner, who was widely known as the heart of the daycare center, it has now been confirmed that Candy Cane will be closing its doors. Gardner's memory is credited with rescuing tens of thousands of children who passed through the doors of the daycare center during the last 40 years, states the Akron Beacon Journal. Aside from being an icon in its neighborhood, Candy Cane will also be known as a place of great treasure. That wraps up our local news segment for the day. But don't go anywhere because we'll have the biggest campus stories on the other side of these short messages. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student Programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Some risks are obviously not worth taking. Watch where you're going! Some aren't as obvious, but could be just as deadly. Risk for type 2 diabetes, especially if you're over 45 or overweight. Take the diabetes. It's free and takes less than a minute. Type 2 diabetes is one risk or to take. So stop diabetes before it stops you. Hi everyone, I'm Katie Couric. 
Like most people who have a loved one suffering with a serious illness, when my father had Parkinson's, I would have given the shirt off my back to help him. Shirt? Put the shirt on your back for moving day. A new day for Parkinson's and for our city. The National Parkinson Foundation's first ever fund Help us change the world for the whole Parkinson's community. Make your move today at parkinson.org. The School of Music and Theater presents Avenue Q in Gunlock Theater, October 23rd through the 25th at 8 p.m. and October 26th at 2 p.m. Humans and puppets interact in this tale of 20-somethings learning how to live and love in New York City. Think Sesame Street with adult themes, humor, and song. For more information, go to facebook.com backslash Heidelberg Theater. Welcome back to New Center 10, Live at 5. Let's get started on our Heidelberg Campus News segment. This past Saturday marked Heidelberg's 2014 homecoming weekend. After various activities and voting, the students nominated Janelle Wendorf and Austin Hunter for homecoming king and queen. Another event was the week from the weekend was a Herneman Stadium dedication. There were many different events that were scheduled for the dedication. Friday's events were for the alumni and the VIP. And Saturday morning was the official ribbon cutting and opening of the Herneman Stadium and Fox Den Alumni Center. And just a few hours later, the field was dedicated to Pete Reason. After the field dedication, the student Prince football team beat Muskegon 52-21. to The Owens Academic Career and Support Center has been engaging students with opportunities to help them keep up with their studies. Located on the second floor of Campus Center, the Owen Academic Career and Support Center involves instructors who are more than willing to tutor students, coach on study habits, and help with time management. Students can also explore the, and establish connections for their life after graduation. Jennifer Dempsey, head of the Writing Center, expressed her role within the organization and how students can get involved. Hi, I'm Jennifer Dempsey, the new Writing Center here at Heidelberg University. The Writing Center is brand new here at Heidelberg, and we are so excited to work with all of the students. We can help you with any type of writing possible, from a research paper, uh, an English 101, all the way through a graduate level thesis dissertation. Uh, we can help you with any element of writing at any stage of writing, uh, from the point you get the assignment the way through the revision and final pol polishing on the document. Uh, if you would like to make an appointment with us, uh, please email us at writingcenter at heidelberg.edu. Make sure you include your name, the class that you have your assignment in, the actual assignment itself, what you'd like to talk about, uh, and some potential dates and times that you are free for an appointment. We will get back to you right away and then we can jump in and get started on helping you strengthen your writing skills. The Career Center is open in the evenings, making it easily worthwhile for students to make appointments. Let the Owen Academic Career and Support Center help you take the first step to a successful career. Fall break will be this weekend, and whether you stay on campus or go home, we have more information for you from Stephanie Lehman. Students are expected to evacuate campus by Friday, October 17th at 4.30 p.m. Um, there is an application deadline of uh, October 15th uh, to let us know whether you're staying or not. The application is available on BergSync. Um, it's, uh, you have to be logged in to uh, complete the application. So once you log in, go to the Campus Live page on BergSync and you'll see it under the form section. So there is no charge to stay for this break. If you intend to stay, make sure you turn in your application by tomorrow, October 15th. All shuttle rides for this weekend will be leaving the center by 3 p.m. Herneman will close at 6.30 p.m. on Friday. Saturday through Tuesday, breakfast will be from 8 to 10. Lunch will be from 11 to 12.30, and dinner will be from 4.30 to 6 p.m. Beagley Library is open from 5 to 7 on Friday and is closed until Tuesday, in which regular hours will resume. So whether you're staying on campus or going home, have a great fall break. So Stacy, what are your plans for fall break? 
I'm actually going home. Are you now? Take some R&R &R time away from school for a while. Well, what about you? I will be here. Yeah. I will be doing some work for the theater for Avenue Q. Oh, awesome. And I will also be here at the MCC redecorating the set. Oh, awesome. So I guess we'll definitely see some changes the next I, time people I tune in. I certainly hope so. Cool, cool. That's all we have for Berks Campus News today. We'll get into all of the latest news and stories from the social media world next. News Center 10, live at 5. We'll be right back. Heidelberg basketball staff here. Move-in day. A lot of excitement on campus. You're watching WHEI TV 10. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. As a first-time Olympian, it was a true honor for me to represent Team USA in London. I'm also proud to represent another great team, the Multiple Sclerosis Association of America, who sponsors Swim for MS, a national fundraiser where you can create your own swim challenge. Anything from swimming laps for pledges to jumping cannonballs for cash. If you love swimming like I do, register today at swimforms.org. I'm super excited to introduce my dad because he's my hero. When I was little, he was doing this really important work, driving ambulances in Iraq. Now he's home, and he's still a hero because he tells the ambulances where to go when there's an emergency. I'm so he's awesome. He's my dad. If a service-connected disability hinders your civilian career, Volk Rehab offers a variety of services to help prepare you for your next mission. Avenue Q. I heard it's going to be a good show. Uh, so where are you going to be next? Well, I'm on stage every night. Uh, how many times a night? As many times as you want, don't you? <laughs> What'd you do yesterday? I went to Avenue Q. It was so much fun. Me hope you come to see show. It good, especially with her. Uh, Hello and welcome to our Social Spotlight segment. Let's check out what's trending today in the world of social media. We'll be seeing Robert Downey Jr. stood up as Tony Stark and Iron Man for more than we anticipated. Most of us were already aware that the sarcastic genius millionaire Tony Stark will appear in highly anticipated Avengers Age of Ultron this summer. And ever Avengers 3, which is said to be released in 2018. New to the entertainment world is Downey managed to not only pick up appearance in Captain America 3, but will also be appearing in a Marvel-produced crusade-like series of movies involving several other superheroes, notable Captain America. Now let's check us oh, upcoming events happening at Heidelberg this week. have for our social spotlight segment tonight. Let's send it back over to Dan and Stacy at the news desk. Thanks, Margaret. So, Robert Downey Jr. is going to be in a lot more stuff from now on. I am looking so forward to it because Captain America and the Avengers are among my top favorite movies. Mm -hmm. Actually, I just love comic book movies in general. I gotcha. So, yeah, I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I think it's going to be well. I guess they're paying him $40 million plus for which, that role. Which is, ex so. which is acceptable because Robert Downey Jr. Yes. plays a fantastic Tony Stark. Exactly. Those are pretty big metallic shoes to fill. Exactly. So, pretty cool. <laughs> it's time to throw it over to Allie to take a look at today's top sports stories. Junior Stephen Smith is doing amazing things for the football team, including scoring the first six points in the homecoming game over the weekend. He is currently ranked second in the nation for most points per game. Smith was nominated as the OAC Special Player of the Week. Stephen learned the fundamentals of kicking from his older brother in sixth grade. Throughout junior high and high school, he played football and soccer. Smith picked Heidelberg because of their music program and the affordability because he could commute. After talking to the football coach, he decided that he would try kicking for Heidelberg. He has loved it ever since and has been a huge asset to the team. 
Well, I chose Heidelberg originally for the music program. I'm a music major here, so the music program has really what drawn me, and I also live here in Tiffin, so financially it was, a, it was a very nice fit. And then once I committed here to going to school here, Coach Donaldson, the defensive coordinator, contacted me about playing football. And I was kind of going back and forth for a while, so finally I just decided to give it a try, just give it a year to see how it worked, and it's all worked out really well ever since. The Heidelberg women's soccer team took an early lead but were unable to surpass that level of play throughout the game as Muskegon pulled away for a 4-1 victory. Continuing their impressive streak of success, the Heidelberg volleyball team swept Muskegon to move their seventh streak to move their winning streak to seven matches. The men's soccer team continued their strong start to conference play, recording a 3-0 win over Muskegon on Saturday, October 11th. The Student Prince football team toppled Muskegon University 54-21, wrapping up a crisp homecoming afternoon. That's all we have for your Berg Sports today. Now let's send it over to Stacy and Dan. Thanks, Allie. So, uh, did you get to see any of the Super Bowls this weekend or no? No, I did not, and I'm actually very bummed about that. Could you fill me in? Yeah, all, Heidelberg football was it was an amazing game. I keep it, hearing that, yes. Like, the first half was full of energy, Okay. and there was a lot of special teams plays that were made. Uh, Cameron Vokey scored two touchdowns off of blocked punts with, wow. it, within the 10-yard line. And the crowd was really, really excited for that. So. Well, that's cool. I think a big part of, obviously, we want to do well, but I love when, you know, student sections and parents and alumni come back and exactly. show support. I feel like that the energy for that game for homecoming would have been awesome. I'm for so sure. bummed that I missed it. For sure. It was I'm great. Sure it was great. When we return, $25 million has been donated to Fight Ebola. Student programming from the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. You can't text and pay attention to the world around you. And you definitely can't text and drive. Every year, deaths due to distracted and negligent driving are increasing. In fact, while drunk driving rates have dropped greatly, negligent driving fatalities have skyrocketed. Find out more at negligentdriving.com. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Look, honey, the neighbors just bought a big screen TV. Hey, I just got a bonus at work. Maybe we should get one, too. Hold on there. Savings Man. Using your bonus to secure your future by paying down debt or saving is a better way to go. Well, I declare you're right, Savings Man. Stay ahead by choosing to save. And don't worry about keeping up with the Joneses. But their name is Johnson. For more tips and tools, visit choosetosave.org today. Avenue Q. I heard it's going to be a good show. Uh, so where are you going to be next? Well, I'm on stage every night. Uh, how many times a night? As many times as you want, don't you? <laughs> What'd you do yesterday? I went to Avenue Q. It was so much fun. Me hope you come to see show. It good, especially back to WHEI New Center 10 live at 5. Let's get to our last story of the night. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg and his wife Priscilla Chan are giving 25 million dollars to the CDC Foundation to help fight the Ebola epidemic. In a Facebook post Zuckerberg said the epidemic is at a crucial turning point. Mark Zuckerberg also stated it has affected 8,400 people so far but it's spreading very quickly and a projection suggests it could infect 1 million people or moreover the next several months if not addressed. The donation will go to the U.S. Centers of, for Disease Control and Prevention's resp or Ebola response and efforts uh, in, New er, in Guinea, Liberia and other spots of the world where Ebola is a threat, the foundation said earlier today. Wow, I think it's great that Zuckerberg and his wife, you know, 
donated that much money because you know experts are saying that the one thing Ebola needs, I mean, other than awareness, obviously, mm -hmm. in healthcare, is they really need money, not just right. you know to pay for homes, you know, that people are losing, and also money and provisions and yeah. I I saw earlier today as well that um, that the people who are affected by Ebola, the death rate is at seventy percent right wow, now. Wow, that's that's dangerously high. Yeah, so. it is. Let's hope that this gets cleared up pretty soon. I agree. Thank you for watching WHEI News Center 10 Live at 5. Our program tonight was produced and presented by the Department of Communication and Theater Arts from inside the Media Communication Center at Heidelberg University. Thank you for turning in to today's broadcast. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our next. I'm Stacy Hartley. And I'm Dan Klish. And for Steve, Allie, Margaret, and all the WHEI production crew, we thank you for watching.